I'll be showing you step by step how you can edit the abandoned checkout email in your Shopify store. This email is the one that's pre-built into Shopify that can be sent out to customers who abandon their checkout sequence. It doesn't require any external app, which is the great part about this email. But without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. So from your Shopify store, you wanna to head to settings in the bottom left. Once you click on settings, it will load your settings page. You wanna go down to notifications here in the left-hand side menu. Now from there, you can search for it or it should be under the order section and it will be abandoned checkout. And so to customize this email template, Let's click into here. And now we're gonna be customizing the text of the email. If you're interested in customizing things such as the color or the store name, if we go back here, you can go to customize email templates and this will give you the overall customization for the logo and the colors. I'm gonna click back here and go to abandoned checkout as we're interested in updating this abandoned checkout email. Now to edit it, what we wanna do is go to edit code in the top right. Now this is gonna load the code for the email and it can be a little bit complex if you don't understand the liquid variables. What I would recommend doing is going back here to the preview, thinking about what you wanna edit. And then when you find the elements you wanna edit, it's easier to find them in the code to update the text. So we're gonna be focusing on text in this video, but if you're interested as well, I'll leave a link to the complete list of liquid variables so you can easily insert them into your abandoned checkout emails. So a few things I'll do for this email, I wanna edit the subject line. I'm gonna edit the title here. I'm gonna create a little more scarcity and urgency in the call to action. So let's dive into the edit code here. And so the first section we wanna look at is the subject line, complete your purchase. We had it edit here. The email subject is actually pretty easy because it's in a separate section. I'm just gonna change this to your items are running out of stock. And I'll leave three dots there and I'll hit save. And that'll be the first section that we're gonna edit. So if we go back to the preview, we can see the subject is now your items are running out of stock. And I did misspell that there. I'm gonna fix the G, hit save and go back again. Next, I'm gonna edit you left items in your cart. This is gonna be the title. So if I go back to edit code by clicking it, I can use control F or command F and it makes it really easy just to find these items on the page. So I can see this shows up twice here and it's the plural or singular depending on if there are multiple items in the cart. So I'll change the top one first. I'm just gonna say something along the lines of we've saved your item for you, but it may be gone soon. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this element here and I'm just gonna copy it, paste it in the else section. I'm gonna spell check that a little bit there. We can see the plural section. So if item counter is equal to one, do this. Otherwise it's gonna be plural. So I'm gonna leave this as items. I hit save and let's go back to the preview to make sure everything looks okay. You can also hit preview in the top right. I can see we've saved your items for you but it may be gone soon. Next let's go and change the call to action here. So items in your cart. I'm gonna copy that text, go to edit code. Again, do control find or command find. If I search for it here, I can see items in your cart. There's also the visit your store URL here, which looking at this, I might remove it. So I'm just gonna select this entire element, this table HTML element and remove it here. Next, I'm gonna change this text to click here to complete your purchase. Then I'll hit save. And if I go to preview again, I can see we just have one button here now and it says click here to complete your purchase. There's no gonna be or visit store. I wanna create one purchase item here. That makes it a little easier to understand what's the next action that you should take as a customer. So overall, I've made some basic changes here, changing the title, the subject line, and the call to action button. In terms of overall styling, say orderly emails probably is the most popular templating tool to create emails, as it makes it really easy to customize all your order notifications and customization emails. And I have used it before. I'm not affiliated with them in any ways, but I found this was a very easy tool to use. Additionally, these are more notification emails in terms of your order confirmation, so they might not be super important to edit. And for your abandoned checkout, if you're looking for more customization, there are plenty of apps available on the Shopify app store. They give you much more control in terms of timing, quincing, and customizability of these emails. And I will cover that in another video on how to set that up step by step. Before I go, I wanna thank our sponsor, ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's gonna make it super easy to get one-click calculations. All you have to do is like the date range you're looking for, to get a detailed breakdown on how profitable your store really is and give you a variety of different metrics and charts, making your store super easy to understand, which allows you to make a better business decisions. There's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also search for ProfitCalc in the Shopify app store and look for this logo in the top left, both of which get you access to a free 15 day trial. This will let you test drive everything for yourself. Make sure you check that out below. So this is gonna conclude the video here 
here on how to edit your abandoned checkout email in your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.